All right, so Adriano, um, if you could talk a little bit about weight, I noticed your guitars are, are not small, but they're very, very light. And I'm, I'm blown away by how light they are. And I'm also amazed that there's no neck dive. And I'm wondering how, how did you get inspired to build a guitar with that much air in it? And how do you even uh, accomplish that? I didn't look inside the guitar because I felt like it would be intrusive or oh, you can. I think I was stealing your secrets, but uh, I wish I had a camera we could stick inside of one of your guitars. So it's, it's just very different. I'm a young builder, you know, I, I work with guitars for well around 30 years now. As a guitar tech, like, you know, touring, I have um, I have a lot of experience with loud stage. And I think that's really important. Like the weight of the instruments is really important when it comes to how loud you play. So, and I agree, like every instrument, it's, you know, it's more efficient when you play it loud. But when you don't play it loud, I, I actually like a light instrument. Um, for, for me, to my ears, they sing better. They, they have more voices, uh, more harmonics. But that's what I hear. And, um, and I like light wood. I like light wood. I, I use a lot. I mainly use uh, Honduras mahogany and um, Spanish cedar. And I do, in some guitars, I do bracing inside and I, I, I use um, a spruce, moon spruce, or I do actually my bracing carved on my own wood. And the reason I came up, you know, my guitar is coming lighter and lighter and lighter. And uh, it's because, you know, it's like have a, you know, a thin bell. When you hit it, you don't need to hit it too hard to, to make it ring. And I see my guitars the same way. Of course, it cannot be too thin if not, if it's like a paper, they will not sound. And um, that's it, basically. You know, so if a customer wants to play like really heavy distortion on my guitars, you know, I will not make a light guitar because it will be totally out of control and it will not work. Okay. But, uh, you know, if you play like jazz or something like that, or something lighter, I will, I will, you know, I'll make it light and I'll make it vibrate it and, uh, I like really live instruments. And what I do, it's when I tap the guitars, I try to achieve, they resonated like in a really low, low end, like away from the spectrum of the guitar. Of so the notes that so would be Don't played. interfere oh. on, you know, on the scale, on the spectrum. So they... I'd like to say something about wood, if I may. Absolutely. Uh, because uh, we were looking for examples of light wood that actually have a more brighter tone. I think Swamp Ash is a perfect example. It's very light, uh, but it's got a lot of presence, a lot of high mid-range uh, 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 tonal quality. And it's, it's one of these, because uh, maple can be still very heavy, but, it's, but it, uh, a Swamp Ash would be a good example for a light wood that has a bright sound. And I, 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 I do concur with the, the fact that uh, lighter woods tend to sound brighter for some reason. Interesting. Go figure. Interesting. They color, nature color coded everything for luthiers. But did. <laughs> the creator is the good. The creator is Okay. I, I also noticed that uh, darker woods, uh, the reason they sound darker is they actually attenuate the sound. They actually take away some of the highs and they're actually softer too. Like, uh, uh, if you make a guitar with all the electronics the same and one is swamp ash and the other is mahogany, the mahogany guitar will be actually lower in volume as well, besides being warmer sounding. Uh, is that acoustically or when plugged in or both? Both. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, there's another wood that, um, I mean, it's not used so much out here, but when I was um, in Saluthia school, I, was, uh, I built a few guitars, uh, one out of English sycamore. I actually built a classical. <laughs> And, it, it, and then I built a, my, actually my very first guitar was a Les Paul and I built the top out of flamed English sycamore as opposed to maple. It's, it's a little softer, it's a little lighter and it still has a brightness, but it has a little bit more of a sweetie, sweeter kind of smoother oh, sound. Not as hard for biting. And it's not quite maple. as dense as maple. It's uh, punchier than maple too. Yeah. And it's a little drier sounding. It makes an, an amazingly good bass. 